Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we're in America. Welcome back to our kitchen in Florida. If you missed last week's video, check it out up there. Yeah, we're on a little road trip. We've been having a wonderful time so far. If you don't follow us on TikTok, definitely check us out over there because we've been doing lots of videos along the way. Yeah, and we've been doing a lot of stuff where it's like going to places we've you know, heard of, but never, never actually been. seen in the flesh and getting our reaction. A to lot of things. first experiences and a also first. a lot of merch along the way, which I'm debuting today. I've got debuting. a Debuting. 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 Today. I'm debuting my first bit of merch today. I've got a Piggly Wiggly top. Yes, we had the lovely experience of popping into a Piggly Wiggly. Um, Save big with the pig. Save big with the pig. <laughs> I just, I absolutely love how your shops in America have merch. Yeah. You can't go to you can go to Sainsbury's and Tesco's and buy clothes, but, but you can't kind of be like buying fashion merch. clothes, no, aren't they? They're not not merch. They're not. You can't go and buy like a Sainsbury's t-shirt or an Asda t-shirt. No, I think I'd wear Sainsbury's. They should and sell the merch. uniform. That'd be fun. Yeah, Imagine but then getting a little Sainsbury's. Yeah, fleece. but then you'd wear it and everyone'd be like, "Excuse me, can you help?" And then people would be really rude and you'll think it's a Sainsbury's yeah. worth. Very excited for today's episode. Yes, we've picked these items up yep. along the way from a few different supermarkets. A bit of Publix in there, a bit of Piggly Wiggly. Yeah, a bit of um, a mix. Oh, we and these bugles are from Bucky's, which is yes. one of our favourite yes. stuffs. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we really appreciate everyone who sends us boxes. Boxes, but it has been fun being here and getting to experience what you guys do when you pick yeah. up our boxes. Obviously, we won't be sending anyone a British candy box, but if you'd like to get a British candy box, we'll leave a link down below and you can check out our boxes. Yeah, and if you order one of those boxes at the moment, it should be one of our festive boxes, so yes. check it out. Yeah, they're always our favourites, aren't they? Yeah, so I think definitely. it's the best time of year for British sweets and chocolates and candy. Me too, 100%. So definitely check those out. You Start know. with the uh, savouries. Start as we mean to go on. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a new item today. So that's exciting. And the other exciting thing is we did get it from Bucky's, which was an experience in itself. Yes, we do have a Bucky's YouTube video coming, but obviously oh, yes. it's not going to be able to capture the, the pure excitement. magic. So if you want to see the pure magic, go check out our TikTok. Yeah. We've got a video on there, you'll spot it. Uh, we love bugles, but I'm really excited for these because it's ranch flavor. And it's not just ranch, it's with a brand. Hidden I love Valley. it when they do this. This is awesome because bugles could do a ranch flavor, but the fact they're trying to make it like Hidden Valley, which is one of the most popular yeah. ranch sauces there is. And it's a collab, I love it. We have been sent- You love it when people team up. I do. We have been sent Hidden Valley Ranch before. We absolutely loved finishing it off with our pizzas. I think we've actually got one in the cupboard. I know. And we're like savoring it, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, but it's way out of date. Is it? I think so. Oh no. But we'll still use it. Maybe we'll have to take one home with us. Right, crack them open now. Crack them open. And I really like the simplicity like it seems yeah. like brands are going much more simple yeah, but I nowadays. Think they're mimicking the Hidden Valley Ranch yeah, branding. Yeah, and I love it. Because it's blue because with the it's green. Like, yeah, the rolling hills. And yeah, some of the ranch things we've had recently haven't been amazing. No, America's number one finger hat. Mm. I like them. Mm. I think this is really delicious. Flavor. I wouldn't necessarily say they taste like ranch though, would you? I can't quite remember how this ranch tastes. It's been a while. There's a slight creaminess, slight like little tang to it, but it's not like... Herbiness, ranch, ranch. ranch. It's not like in that last video where we had the Snyder's sour cream and onion and it was like slap this. you in the face. But this is nice. I think it's a nice mellow flavour. Mm. What are you giving them out of 10? I'm going to give them an eight out of 10. I'm going to give them an eight and a half. They're not something I'd be really excited to get. They are delicious. They're delicious, yeah. In some ways, I like them just as much as the cheese ones. Really? I don't really think nice. so. Really? I prefer the cheese. And I think now my 10 out of 10 score has got to be like, if I walk into the shop on this road trip, would I pick it up or not? Yeah. Right. Next up is really exciting. Yeah. This is a really cool product. I don't think Kate knows a lot about the whole nitro thing. I don't. Being into beer, nitro is quite a, you know, a topic a because thing. nitro is basically like the way it is put into the can and how when you open it and then you pour it, the bubbles are like really, really small. How interesting. And so it's meant to be like a smoother, creamier experience. And it happens a lot with like dark beers. Well, it says here, Nitro Pepsi, and this is the vanilla draft cola. They did have the, mm. just the normal, but we thought we'd get the flavor. And it says nitrogen infused cola, smaller bubbles, smoother taste. Oh, I thought, and you know how many times you pour a brown, like you don't know how to pour yeah. that. It says here, one, chill can, two, pour hard. Yeah three, admire and enjoy. But is it only like nitro things that you need to pour hard? Because is that like waking up the bubbles? Yeah. 
I think Pepsi, this is fantastic. Because you don't want you don't want to keep the bubbles in the drink. You want you the want bubbles to be alive. To be excited and releasing and I'm really excited for this. I think the branding, the colour, the packaging is really lovely and fancy. And I think the fact that it's vanilla with the nitro is going Could to be, be so really nice. creamy and lovely. Also, don't you think it's really clever how the Pepsi logo is like... It's bubbles. It's, but really small ones. Yeah. Like they've done the nitro logo. I think they've done a really cool job there. This will be interesting because you like Pepsi, Pepsi Max, but you're not so short on, on Pepsi. Pepsi. And also it's vanilla. Can I pour? Yeah, please pour. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have turned that yeah, upside maybe. down. <laughs> A piggly wiggly shirt. <laughs> right, well, so. It's true wanna... though. Look how many lovely bubbles there are. So I could pour hard. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Look how tiny those bubbles are. Yeah. They're much smaller than normal cola bubbles. Yeah. And like now it's not fizzing. Oh, look, it's all over me. You're going to have to skew, excuse the bubbles on my top. Oh, look. Is it everywhere? everywhere. <laughs> I've got um, this thing with uh, Pepsi. First meal me and Matt had in yeah. our new home, opened the Pepsi. It got frozen part way in the back of the fridge. Everywhere. Opened it. I was like, ah, yeah. good job it wasn't new carpets. <laughs> right, cheers. Cheers. It tastes kind of flat though. It does taste kind of flat. My experiences of nitro before with beer, but beer is like much thicker, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it tastes like molassesy, like oh. thicker, doesn't it? It does taste smooth as well. No, I think literally all the air has gone from that. Maybe also, try not pour as hard as you pour. Everything is so sticky now. Have I mucked up? Everyone's gonna be like, you've mucked it up. Is it fizzier? No, it is weird. It is different. I don't That's know. That's the thing with Pepsi. It's usually really fizzy. It's smooth and creamy. I wouldn't think it was Pepsi. It's like a completely different experience. Yeah. It's nice, but I wouldn't be picking that over a Pepsi Max. I thought they would have gone creamier with the yeah. vanilla. I thought it would be much more. I can't creamy. really taste the the vanilla. Really? It's there. Yeah. But it just almost tastes like a bit of a sweetness, creaminess, mm. doesn't it? Yeah. I like the creaminess though. What would you give that out of ten? I'll give it. I think I'd give it a seven. Yeah, I think I'd just give it six and a half, seven. Yeah, I agree. And I also kind of feel like, how many people are actually going to buy that? I feel like people will buy it to try, mm. but how many repeat purchases will there be? I definitely think it looks more impressive than mm -hmm. it tastes. And it looks more like adult masculine, don't you think? I feel like it kind of, it's trying to appeal to maybe a different generation. I don't know about masculine, but... but I think it's definitely very neutral. Oh yeah, it's definitely neutral, that's a good if, word. Well, actually, if you think about it though, Pepsi Max is very masculine. It's yeah. very like Yeah, but it's also very like, I'm and... having a like a fizzy drink. But I really like the colors they've I used really there. I really like them, yeah. The branding is better than the, the yes, product. Yes, definitely. Now we do have another savory item, which I'm very excited for. Now we've had this brand before, but not not like this. We have Planters cheese balls. Cheese balls. So far, all we have had from Planters are the peanuts. Yeah. And now we've got their cheese balls. And I love how they've kept their packaging, what they usually their do. Style, I know yeah. Planters also have the little bags now, but these are the classic. Also, I don't know how long these have been out for, but I really love the old fashioned branding. I really just didn't realize that Planters did cheese balls I or didn't anything either. other than peanuts? Do they have any other crisps? Because on the aisle, this we got these from Publix. Down the aisle, these were the only thing from Planters, apart yep. from obviously the peanuts. Oh, these are awesome. Oh, <laughs> golden nuggets. I feel like the light from there is like, oh. So orange, aren't they? They're very orange. Ooh. I wonder if they've modernized it and then gone back or if they've just kept it the whole time. I don't know. Or well, if that's just their style, so yeah. they do everything in that style. Cheers. Mm. Quite a strong cheese, actually. Yeah. These days are adult cheese balls. It's, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Like, there's more depth to it. Yeah, you know, it tastes like a strong cheddar rather than just like... Fake cheese. Just like a cheesy, general uh -huh. cheesy taste. Mmm. And it's interesting, when you bite into them, almost like a smoky cheese. Mmm. When you bite into them, it's almost like they're hollow, they're so light, yet the outside is so crunchy. They're really crunchy. Mm. I wasn't expecting them to be that firm. I'd love to leave the lid off for a day. <laughs> See them go a bit stale. Yeah, a lot of you guys weren't enjoying my stale comments. Really? The other <laughs> comment. I just love it. Do I prefer these to Cheetos? No, no. but I do like them. Yeah. They're a good cheese taste. I wouldn't say no to a tub of these. I'd probably give these like a seven, eight out of 10. 
What about you? I'll give them an eight. Yeah, they're not the best, but I love the packaging. And I feel like how many of you cut a little hole out the top and had this as like a, a money bank growing up? That's cool. I thought you were going to say, how many of you cut a hole out of the top and just do this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or what you could do is play a game and I would sit this end of the island. You said, and throw chuck them in. Your them mouth. in. <laughs> oh, I actually got it. I was a bit Smash scared that. about that. <laughs> Smash that. <laughs> I might try preserve that because mm. I think the tub's really cute. Yeah. And I bet you there's so many homes that have got things in there. Oh yeah, you could take this home. Keep pens in it, keep yeah. bits and pieces in it. Or even keep like, um, when you open up like a pack of biscuits or something mm. and just want to put them in there. I really like that. Would you like to do Chips Ahoy or these packets at the front? I think let's give the Chips Ahoy a go. These were also Publix? Yeah, I believe so. Alex's eyes pricked up. Yeah. Because what have you got? My, I was walking down the aisle and my... Um, down the aisle. <laughs> Sound like I was getting married. <laughs> I was walking down the aisle in Publix. I'm pretty sure it was Matt saw them first. I think I so. I think that's because he's allergic to peanut butter. So he's it's like the... Drawn. It was the opposite problem. He was like, oh, I need to stay away from that. And I was like, I need some of that. But yeah, how epic do these look? They look really good. So and at it, first, Al was picking the double packet up, yeah. weren't he? <laughs> and Kate was like... <laughs> We're not gonna get all of those. And then I saw the small packet and that was a good compromise. So these are Chips Ahoy. So they got the chocolate chips in, cookies, with little mini Reese's peanut butter cups. But like, I also broke, don't up. think it's just chocolate chips. Look at the front, Al. What? They also do it with pieces. Oh. Maybe you would have preferred that. They didn't yeah. have them. No also, bad. turn it to the front. That's also a peanut butter little chip. bite yeah chip that's the word so to say i'm excited is an understatement because chips ahoy are one of my favorite really yeah i really like them i'm never fussed about a chips like ahoy packaged cookie it's not on the same level as like a fresh bakery cookie but for me it's one of the best packaged cookies i feel like you and our sister holly are maybe mm. the same because she i think she would be up for a chips Which ahoy are oh, you... the same sort of opening because they're nabisco oh yeah but these are actually full i hate to break into you albert I can't see how a mini peanut butter cup is going to fit no, in like there. No, like a fraction of one. I mean, if there isn't, I'm going to be livid because that's what it shows on the packet. Doesn't look like I've got any peanut butter cups. It says in enlarged there. to show detail, but if they put stuff in that isn't there, I'm going to be mad. Oh no, there's one. Oh, Proved that looks wrong. good. Proved you wrong. I might try to get one of those. Out of the four I've looked at, what that? It's a bit sad, yeah, I isn't doubt it? there's going to be many where it's literally on the top. There we oh, go. There's one. Cheers. And there's a little... I think at first I just always think, oh, they're going to be so dry. They're not, though. They're so good. lovely and crumbly. I'm glad they did the chocolate chips and the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. There's if not it that just much peanut, peanut butter, butter. I'm getting a good taste oh. of peanut butter. It's not like, you know, gooey, really gooey peanut butter, but there's peanut butter flavour all through that. I'm a changed woman on this trip. <laughs> I said in the car the other day, old me would never have thought this, but I was there going along, driving. I had a coffee. I had a coffee. I've now finished two whole coffees. Bearing in mind, they're very easy coffees. It's sure. a caramel Sweet. latte from McDonald's. Yeah. Don't diss McDonald's. That's as they're great coffees, aren't yeah. they? It's a very light coffee, not very much. It's delicious. And I was sat there driving, having my coffee and having a peanut butter cup. And I was <laughs> like, because Kate and Matt were here before me. I came and joined them. And when they picked me up from the airport, Kate's driving and slurping down a, a caramel iced latte. And I'm like, who's this woman? And what, she, what have you done with my sister? The thing is, I really wanted to be able to like coffee. It's the lattes mm. that, and I like the ice frappes yeah. now. I never used to like that. Anyway, we digress. What do you think to this? These are mm. great, really great. I'm gonna give them a nine out of 10. Mm. I would say they were a good eight out of 10. I'd rather that than a normal milk chocolate one. Really? Mm. It just gives That's it good. something so you else. prefer them? Mm. Yeah, I definitely think nine out of 10. You can tell Alex is doing a lot of this choosing. Yeah. We have two items here. The brand we have never seen, they are called Unreal, and these were in Publix. And at the top, did you see this? It says less sugar. To be honest with you, I probably wouldn't have picked them up if I saw the less sugar in the top. Yeah. I probably would have just carried on. But I did think they look really good and I really like the branding. Yeah. So I think it's definitely worth a go. And I don't know about those, but this one here is certified vegan. So that's really yeah. cool. So it says fair trade. certified non-GMO, fair trade, 40% less sugar. So it's not no sugar, 
and then there's two grams of protein per bar if you're into that kind of thing nothing artificial that seems like a very official way of stating that no sugar alcohols no soy ingredients sustainable ingredients and this has got one gram of protein and they say we started unreal so everyone can enjoy out of this world all real chocolate snacks without all the sugar we make our bars with rich dark chocolate perfectly roasted peanuts delicious nougat and smooth caramel they're non-gmo and lightly sweetened without corn syrup or sugar alcohols we just use less sugar for real and the taste is unreal chris and nikki awesome yeah. so i have got dark chocolate peanut butter cups and these are dark chocolate caramel peanut nougat bars which is a long way of saying snickers, snickers. <laughs> so i wonder if this is like the chocolate bar equivalent of that one we tried recently where it was like low sugar sweets you what? know smart sweets oh smart yeah oh yeah yeah could but be but i think this because this still has some sugar just Whoa. a lot less than it would these be these smell dark these are the cutest things <laughs> ever i can't wait to see those what i do like is the fact that it's less sugar it's not no sugar or yeah do you know what and I mean? also do you not think they've got away with it because it's dark chocolate yeah the dark chocolate already has less sugars yeah. when you have like a snickers it's really hard to just like stop halfway yeah. unless you've got a duo bar so these are really good little yeah. handy ones oh my word it's really dark it's really dark oh dear good chew very good chew the chocolate's not too bitter but it's dark it's dark and i like that is that like perfect for you? It's not perfect because I probably prefer milk chocolate. I really like dark chocolate on its own, but with certain things and like with nougat and caramel, I think you want the milk chocolate. Mm. It was a bit too dark for but me. But it's really nice. Like and this looks like milk, but it's it, dark. It doesn't make me think well, that's a low sugar snack. No, no, it doesn't taste low sugar. Mm. Well, to me, I always think dark chocolate tastes healthier. <laughs> Don't I? Yeah. Oh, this looks really dark as well. It's like the night sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you're going to yeah, like yeah. this one. I feel like dark chocolate isn't as bad on something like this. Mm. How's that compared to the, the Reese's dark? The Reese's dark is better. Reese's dark mm. organic. I like the center though. It's so soft. Yeah. The middle's really nice because that is probably the softest inside of a peanut butter I've had. Yeah, because the had case it. just broke when I bit into it. And the middle, the peanut butter just kind of like seeped out. It, it was, was more like, you know, when you have like a cream, mm. you know, like the Quality Street creams yeah. that you bite into and it's a lovely like pop. That was like that really great experience. But I just, the dark chocolate is too much. Really? It's too much. Would you prefer the um, Reese's organic one or this? Maybe that. Because really? with the Reese's one, I couldn't really taste the middle. Whereas at least with that, it's like, oh, it cracks when you bite into it. Mm. You can definitely tell there's some sweetness missing from it. Yeah. Compared to the Reese's. But it's what you get used to, isn't it? And would you happily finish those off, though? I think if I was to pick one, I'd go for the peanut butter cup yeah, I thought over the dark chocolate nougat bar. But they're also really good. They're really good to just like have in, in like yeah. a bag, especially if you're traveling on your bike rides. Just yeah. think putting those in your bag would be really Although good. Although when I'm on a bike ride, I don't want a low sugar snack. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they would be great. Like those would be really good with a coffee, I think. Yeah. Really nice. Means you can have more. Low sugar just means you can have more. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I mean, if I have five of those, yeah. I'm getting 10 grams of protein. So. Wow. Wow. There you <laughs> go. Crazy. It's, it's fine. Right, moving on, we have two new Pop-Tarts. One is definitely new, and I think the other one's just new to us. Yeah. What is exciting is this packet for me. Ego waffles with maple syrup. Pop-Tart Ego frosted maple flavor. That is absolutely exciting. And um, obviously, like Ego is a massive brand for so many Americans. Mm. And since being here, I've seen them all over the shops. Yeah. But how we really know about Ego is Stranger Things. Stranger Things. At 11. I, I mean, love we've the heard look of this. Ego in films and TV for years. Yes. But it wasn't really until 11. So. Stranger Things must have helped them out so much. Yeah. I bet so many people wanted them after that. I wonder if this collaboration would have happened without Stranger Things. Oh, they should have done like a Stranger Things. Mm. Before I take one of these. What's seven plus four? Eleven. Yes, Papa. <laughs> the amount of times Alice has done that to people and have actually caught everyone out. Yeah. That's the first time you didn't catch me, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah. So, as always, I think we're going to try one cold and one hot. 
The only thing I worry about this though is the maple. Yeah, it could. It could be really fake and horrible. Yeah. Fake and horrible. But it smells good. Am I popping that down now? Sniff that. Wow. It smells sweet. Got a plate. Down it goes. It's funny how it's like yellow. Really yellow. Mm. I don't think I've ever had an Eggo. It really does taste like a waffle and syrup. It does. I wonder how they've done that. Well, I think the syrup's in the middle and the Eggo flavours... In the pastry. In the pastry. Mm. Maybe they've even put like waffle batter. Mm. You know how like you can get the powder batter and you just need to add like milk or egg? Yeah. Mm. I like that. I think I might like it more hot. Yeah, me too. Because it'll be like mimicking a real waffle because it'll be warm. Hopefully oh, yeah. get all the sensations. What I was worried about was the maple syrup, but actually that's delicious. Mm. And I feel like they haven't done, even though it says flavour, I feel like they've actually got maple syrup in yeah. there. It's not just like a maple flavour that you find in like a jelly bean yeah. when you have those. I was thinking when I sniffed it, it <laughs> smells good. I was thinking when I sniffed it. <laughs> it smells good, but is it going to be too artificial? But actually, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. good. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's nice. The sensations are better, hot, mm. but you can actually taste it more cold, I think. You think? Mm. I think the maple syrup is better hot. Mm. It's more mimics the maple syrup on top. Are you preferring hot or cold then? I do prefer it hot. I mm. prefer the experience. But the taste. But I'm just saying, I feel like the taste was really strong, cold. Mm. That's really good. We've had some pop tarts more recently. And they haven't all been that amazing, but this is a good one. This is one of few pop tarts that really tastes like it says it's going to yeah. taste. Bravo. Bravo. And the other thing is that's quite funny is I guess pop tarts are for people who are timed pressed don't have a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. Ego waffles. Correct that me quick. if I'm wrong. They're toaster waffles, aren't they? Yeah. So you just put them in the toaster and then you put syrup on. Yeah, but so it's a different form a, though. No, but it's funny, isn't it? Because yeah. they're almost the same thing. It's like a toaster yeah. breakfast item and it just tastes like the other one. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to give it a nine. I'm going to give it a nine because it really is, I think, what it says on the package. Yeah. It's delicious and it's great. Yeah. I think there's a good amount of icing on top as well. Now for our last thing, it's mm. another Pop-Tart, which I'm very excited for. This is the Frosted Blueberry. Yeah. I feel like this is one of those classics. So many of you guys have mentioned the Frosted ones to us. Yeah. Um, and we saw these. This, I feel like is a classic maybe, but we've not had them. A lot of you say with the other ones you put butter on. I feel like maybe with the frosted ones you, you don't, don't need but to. I'm sure Let's some people that still. I also like the little sprinkles Ooh, they have. Oh, they're the top. like colourful sprinkles. Sweet. Nice dark filling in there. Mm. I like blueberry things. Mm. Oh, it smells just like a blueberry muffin from the continental breakfast. It does, doesn't it? It's blueberry. Kind of on the verge of. It's not grape. I know it's not grape, but mm. you know when you have a grape sweet, it has a sort of like taste yeah. vibe. But it's more it's that giving like me grape. Concord grape. Mm -hmm. I always think this American blueberry products taste different to like. Ah. Oh. Yeah. When you go to Denny's for pancakes and you get the jam, I feel like they do a blueberry jam and it really tastes like this. Very hot. Oh, it is really I feel like hot. it's heated up. Whoa. I just have this little bit. It's too hot. Whoa. Wowzers. Who can hold it? Hold That's you definitely hotter than the last one. What it is. That? I'm guessing because it's already been on. Mmm. 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 I prefer it hot. Ten times better hot. It's like a dessert. You know when you have a sponge pudding? Mmm. And there's like a sauce around it. Definitely prefer it hot. It's funny though. The gap that that has closed in heating up is massive compared to the Ego Waffle. I would say the Ego Waffles went from like a seven to a nine and the blueberry frosted cold to hot I went think went from like a four to a seven Ooh. yeah that's the thing I was really excited for that one but the ego waffle is definitely mm. hands down better than that I think it's a classic and I feel like if you've been getting pop tarts for a long time it's probably one of those original flavors that you yeah. love but actually I think I would prefer the strawberry ones looking at them I thought I'd prefer the blueberry yeah but I think I would prefer the strawberry definitely it's still nice. It's just, I think the scent is actually too much scent for me. I don't think I could eat a whole one. I just don't really enjoy the flavour. And I think the strawberry is a much nicer, sweeter, fresher flavour. Yeah, it was still good though, but I'm I'm probably just giving that a six out of 10. I'll give it a seven. I did like it. It's just not. Yeah. And it's not as good as the Echo. No, a five, six, seven. <laughs> Treat of the week. 
I think my treat of the week this week will be quite obvious for anyone. I think it's going to have to be the Chips Ahoy Reese's oh, yeah. edition. These are really lovely, incredible. Can't wait to try these with like a cup of tea yeah. or a coffee before we leave. They're really good. I think they're just the addition of the Reese's is just perfect. I feel like they've made me um, a fan of Chips Ahoy again. I think I thought of Chips Ahoy and I think more Maryland cookies. Yeah. I just think there's so many better cookies out there, but actually they're really delicious. But for me, my treat of the week are the Eggo waffles. Yeah, I think they've done them really well. It's a really lovely flavor. I also love the collab. I thought that was really good. But I still enjoyed everything, but that was my treat of the week. Definitely. Well, that was pretty exciting. Yeah, another great selection of products. It's fun because when people send us stuff, it's like completely blind. You look in the boxes, you sort it all out, but most of the time I see the products for the first time when, when you here. give it to me. And so it's interesting like going through that experience in one step. Yeah. Whereas because we bought these the other day and we've had them in the car, they've already been in my mind. So I've been thinking about, oh, what will that be like? And yeah. what will, so it's like a slightly longer like build up to it because yeah. I actually picked these off the shelf but, and I've been looking forward to trying them. And I do think these ones lived up to it. But um, I really enjoyed that. If you guys would like to try some British candy, we'll leave a link to our website. We've got loads of different boxes on there you can choose from. Yeah, and at this time of year, we've got some special Christmas boxes as well, which yes. are some of our favorite boxes of the year. We think the stuff in there is really good, like the little chocolate snowmen yeah. and different things like that. So check those boxes out. Yeah. Yeah, definitely grab them before it's gone. But we yeah. hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.